So this is a really exciting piece of kit behind me. This is the Striker 2 digital mounted helmet display. It's the next generation of helmet for fighter pilots that's going to provide a huge amount of capability that they just wouldn't have had before. And joining me now to tell me a little bit more about it is Mark Bowman. You are a test pilot and director of flight communications right, for BAE. Um, tell me what is so special about what we've got here. Well, essentially, when we had a fighter pilot's helmets, they've been pretty much a crush helmet and a walkie-talkie. And over the years, we've uh, evolved this capability now into what is essentially, a, a, the, as uh, we rightly say, the next generation, if you like, of, of pilot's headgear. So what essentially we've got, yes, we've got all the comms, we've got all the safety in here, but more importantly, this is now putting essentially a high-definition television in front of the pilot's eyes and gives him an enormous amount of, uh, of situation awareness. And where the, the rate at which you can absorb information and make decisions is absolutely key, this helps the pilot to do it. And more importantly, um, we also can use this at, at night as well. So pilots traditionally in combat aircraft, my own experience in the Harrier and so on, for example, we would have to wear quite cumbersome night vision goggles. Uh, this allows us now to actually go to the next level and put essentially a digital camera in, into the helmet itself and therefore get away from all those cumbersome uh, areas. Well, I think I've got to try it for myself. So um, if you can help me put this certainly, on a little bit. Certainly. First thing you'll notice is it's not very heavy. It's not a heavy piece of kit, <laughs> right. which is important. Thank you. So you should be able to see the imagery in front of you. If yeah. not, then just uh, adjust yeah, the helmet no, up I and down. See. So Mark, as you've noticed, is wearing a uh, microphone. It's because once I've got my helmet on and it's close to my ears, I'm going to be able to hear very little sort of external noise. So tell me about what I'm seeing on the screen. And I think at the moment you can also see this, can't you, on the screen to my left? Yeah, so if, if you, what you're looking directly in front of you, if you look at, obviously it's a colour display, which has its own uh, advantages. But what you're seeing is some, a set of green symbology, mm -hmm. which is all the essential flight safety information that the pilot sees. So wherever you move your head, that information will will we'll follow you. Also, you need to know the level of orientation, and what we've got here at the bottom is a grey mesh. That essentially is a representation of, uh, of, of the ground. But importantly, and this is where the real tactical advantage of the helmet comes in, is essentially all the symbology that's, uh, that's around you. And by using shape and colour, we can impart information to the pilot of what type of targets they are, where they are positioned. And as I say, the key element being here is, is that situational awareness that you get and therefore in making, helping the pilot make those rapid decisions which are absolutely key in, in warfare today. So talk me through the different colours. What could the different colours and shapes be used for here? Well, th these are just purely indicative. But for example, we could have a, uh, if, if you look at Charlie, which is on the left-hand mm -hmm. side there of, your, of the display here, that, that perhaps could be a ground, a, a ground target. Uh, you could also then perhaps, if the blue colour Bravo there, again, tagged it, tagged it, might be something that you weren't quite sure of what it is. And alternatively as well, if you look at over at uh, Delta on the far right-hand side, that, that might also be, shall we say, a, a, a lethal or, a, or a, an enemy and so on but essentially using colour you know we can really enhance now the, the richness of the information that we're giving uh, giving to the pilot other bits that you most probably see on there are some of these chevrons and so on mm. because obviously a lot of information is just in front of your eyes you want to give some indication of where it is spatially around you yeah. so by using this sort of presentation then we can impart that information to the pilot or whether you then you want to pass that off as a point of interest to your uh, other oppo op or whether indeed you're going to uh, use that information uh, for yourself how exciting do you think it is that we are starting to get technology like this? You know, and what do you think it's going to mean for, for, for pilots? Well, look, this, this, is, this, is the, this is the future, you know, um, uh, where uh, air systems are getting more and more uh, complex. We have to look at ways of imparting information to, uh, to the pilot for him as again to, to make those, those very quick decisions. Um, this sort of capability, the Striker 2, uh, is, is essentially a cornerstone uh, capability, if you like. And we will be using that and exploiting everything that we can, whether it's uh, what you can do with your eyes, what you can do with sound, what you can do with uh, uh, the, uh, the, the colour and so on. And maybe even in the future, you know, looking at how the, the brain operates and being able to understand a little bit more how we can get that sort of information uh, into the helmet along with others is going to be absolutely key. So this is right bang on technology for the future and it'll stay there for some time now.